Yo, what's going on guys, it's T-Dog. Um, today, I wanted to talk about the video that I posted yesterday. Uh, kind of break it down for you guys, go over some misinformation and stuff that wasn't right. Um, and explain, you know, why what happened happened. So first things first. Um, this week I was sent some screenshots from a server called Trap House that is run by someone named Asta. Uh, that person was kind of working on the inside, giving me some information on this, you know, wind trading crypto bullshit that's going on. Um, I got in contact with these people the other day, and a player named Missing agreed uh, on some terms to kind of do an interview with me, uh, sit in a Discord call uh, with all the information presented that he talked to me about with this person named Asta, who wasn't there for the video, um, but Missing was kind of like the spokesperson on that. And the goal of that video was to uh, fire the first shot at in this battle of like crypto betting, match fixing, throwing all this stuff. Um, because you know, I'm sure you are too. I'm sick of it. I, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Uh, it happens to me. It happens to my peers. Uh, I don't want to have that be in the game anymore. So, as I always will, I will stand up for what I personally believe in and what I think is right. And sometimes that's going to be a little unfiltered. Sometimes that's going to be a little. Um, inaccurate and sometimes that's going to be a little emotional but that's just the type of person i am so you're gonna to have to bear with me um going into that i set up this thing with missing today to talk about all this stuff the 50 tabs that i had open in that video um those were trackers and things presented to be t presented to me by missing and by asta kind of like exposing from the inside what it actually looks like those people sell accounts um you know or at least missing does he, he's an account seller and you know he he boosts people he, he's been a part of this for a while after he stopped you know competing or playing in the game or something along the lines of that and this is what he does now and, and this is how open and public it is about it so uh, some information was traded and you know i got in there for the interview I, i'm not with these people i don't agree with what they're doing or anything like that obviously um, just a passionate person about the game, uh, passionate about the community, and again, my peers and acquaintances and friends that I've met through this game, and I don't want this to turn into some talk successful. Um, in that video, I went over a lot of stuff through those trackers. Um, there were a lot of people who were mentioned. Some of them uh, were, some of them that were talked about, none of, none of it was true. It, it was falsified um, by the information that I received. And a lot of the feedback that I've gotten for this video was that it's very unorganized. It's very kind of stupid to do this. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. There's kind of like innocent people being involved. Absolutely. That's all absolutely true. And I take full accountability for that. And I apologize to the people who are involved who have to deal with this now. Um, <clears throat> the goal of this, again, was to expose the inside. I, I can't get all this information by myself. Uh, I, I need to throw all this shit in the air and have people kind of like spread it out for me and move it around. This is real. This isn't. This is who you need to look at. This isn't. I, I needed the community's help. And that's why I kind of used my platform to do that. Uh, and, and I hope you can understand that, that it's for a greater good and a bigger picture. It's extremely important that, you know, if you're involved in a server like that, you know, in this example that you need to clarify that you aren't, you know, involved in this and this and that. And a lot of people have been trying to do that, even though they're enabling all this stuff and they're involved in it and they're trying to take advantage of it. Uh, maybe some of them are too young to, you know, bet or, or too young for crypto or they don't have a credit card. You know, those excuses are flying left and right. But at the end of the day, you're sitting in a discord where horrible things are said. Threats are being made. OK, like uh, horrible activity is, you know, going on and you just sit there and you just talk to them. And if you don't talk to them, you just sit there and let it happen. And you don't say anything. So let that be a lesson to you that, you know, in this whole gaming thing, in this social media thing, even in life, uh, you are who you surround yourself with, you know, your friend group, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's who you are, right? Uh, you, you can't really escape that. That's who you surround yourself with. So again, any excuse like that is kind of bullshit in my opinion. Um, I immediately want to go into uh, apologizing to the people who uh, didn't deserve to, number one, be in that video, and number two, some of the information was falsified. Velocity is a player in the University of Alberta. I want to apologize to him, all of his teammates, and all the staff that were involved in this. Missing, at the end of my video, showed a clip uh, that I didn't know that he was going to do. Uh, he, he showed a clip um, that was taken out of context, saying that the University of Alberta cheated to qualify in Campus Clutch using something called Augment. Uh, Augment is a VOD review tool that you have to pay for, and there's no cheating involved in it. Tier 1 teams do it. Uh, it's, it's a legit thing. Um, so... 
that needs to be clarified. They did not cheat. They are legit. And, you know, that shouldn't have been in the video. I want to try to say that that's out of my control, but it is in my control because I let it stay in the video and then I uploaded it. So, you know, again, I have to take accountability for that for being an idiot. There's a lot of uh, stuff in there that needs to, you know, be fixed. Cookie Oreo Yummy. Uh, I mentioned in this video that he is involved in the crypto shit and he is involved in, you know, the throwing of games. Um, this is not true. Uh, he, yes, did have an alt account Discord in a server called Fight Club, which is where the crypto stuff goes down. He did have an alt account in there, and he was suspected of doing that, and someone, again, told me that he did, and he did take advantage of it, but he has now come forth with a lot of evidence that that isn't true. Um, so, again, I apologize about that, and I am actively working not only on this, but on every single person that uh, the stuff isn't true about. I am actively responding to everything on Twitter, YouTube, any DMs I get that, that this is false. I'm, I'm going to clear it. Uh, I'm going to make up for what I did. I can promise you that. Uh, XNB Fortnite. Uh, he was in the video as someone who was taking advantage of the boosting service. He was in their little group, and you know he played with them, and he got his account uh, boosted up a little higher than it should have been. That's not true. Uh, he streams all of his games. He doesn't really play that much uh, recently, and that just isn't true. He was in the Discord because he was in the Discord. Again, you know, I'm sorry that you know that came out, and you know, again, that isn't true. But and another, you know, kind of example, you got to be careful where you just kind of sit around and, 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 you know, lurk and, you know, maybe he talks there every once in a while. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Melvin was also in the video. USDC Melvin, whatever his name is. Um, LFT Melvin. They told me that he was someone who boosts accounts. He, he's involved in this. He boosts accounts for people. Um, he came forth with some evidence to me. This isn't true. Again, you know, this guy is clear in the video. You know, I was misinformed. I acted on that. That That's just me trying to interview and get this information out. And this is really good on Melvin and all these other people that have come to me and said this stuff because we need to get the air cleared here, right? You know, some people might be in a little shit or a little hot water initially, but you, you got to meet me, you know, halfway or at least kind of like help out in this situation and, you know, kind of like not only, you know, say that I'm not involved in this, but, you know, bring something out. Say who is involved in it, right? If you do know. Um, Chig Beppis, I talked about, you know, they, they told me about how he was cheating and uh, was formerly on an account called 147IQ. While he was uh, at one point a player named 147IQ, he, he wasn't cheating. There's no evidence of that. Um, so I apologize to him and, and saying that and potentially spreading misinformation on someone who's trying to create content. Um, you know, that's my bad. And again, I got to, you know, own that and I got to be better. Uh, Saint. They showed me the wrong tracker for the uh, different saint person they were trying to show me. The different saint person they were trying to show me was someone under the alias of Boner Bob, and they showed me this guy's tracker on accident. Again, I didn't do any research. I didn't take any time in this. I jumped the gun. I tried to rush this out as quick as I could because I didn't know if that opportunity would last. I didn't know if this guy would say, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. Peace, right? Um, again, that's kind of my motive on that, and you know, I know that that is stupid, and it isn't realistic. Now, there have been some people, uh, an example here, Benzie, who admits uh, that they were a part of this at one point, and they regret it, and they aren't going to be anymore, and they are cutting ties. This is a beautiful step in the right direction. Benzie's a young player. He has a future ahead of him if he you know, takes steps in the right direction like he is now, and people are going to forget about this. Okay, People are going to forget about this in a little bit of time. As they all do, as every situation happens, you know that's how it goes. And as long as you keep your name clear and you behave, you will get out of this too. I was once in the mud as well. M many times I've been. Okay, I've talked a lot of shit back in the day. On top of that, I was on a team with a player called Pietrovos who talked probably the most shit. Okay, he shit talked Jason R, and I was deemed Pietrovos's friend. I was completely dehumanized. I didn't even have a name anymore. I was just Pietrovos's friend. That's what me and all my teammates were, and that really stunted my growth in this game. People thought I was just some idiot, some you know piece of shit, you know typer, ranked troll. But over time, I proved that I'm here to stay. I'm a good player, and I'm not a piece of shit, right? And I'm not saying that anyone here is a piece of shit. I'm just saying that, you know, that's kind of like how you have to work out of it when you, you know, make a mistake like that. Grimoire, another player who, you know, talks about how they did win trade at one point. Uh, and I don't think that Grimoire was involved in this seriously. I, I think that they were peer pressured into this, and they got roped in. And now there's some evidence presented against them that they threw some games for probably their friends or maybe a friend of a friend. It is what it is, okay? But, you know, comments like this. Uh, you're such a troll. I don't know if it's serious or not. 
I made a really bad mistake. I can't tell if this is a troll. No, it's completely serious. I made a huge mistake. And I'm not proud of my actions at all. This is extremely mature and important that these people do this, that they move on from these past, the, the past that they have. Everyone has a past and everyone's past has people that know of it. Okay. That's kind of how it works, especially again, in this scene, in this gaming thing. Um, so again, you need to, you know, be careful of that and, you know, really do grow as a person and, and change when, you know, you are, you know, partaking in stuff that isn't right. And, you know, another person who's been catching some flack is Jerwin. Jerwin was used as an example in the video, um, as someone who was trying to be bribed. They were trying to bribe him to throw a ranked game. Um, and again, you have to resist that to make change. You have to resist that, um, Jerwin is, he didn't take the bet. He said that the guy said that they would give him some money if he threw the game, but he didn't. And, you know, I understand that people need to make money. You know, it, this isn't personal towards any of these people. I am just trying to expose what they are doing is wrong and that something needs to be done about it. The, I understand that everyone needs to make money. You got to make ends meet, but there's right and wrong ways of going about it, right? I need to make ends meet. At one time, at multiple times, I've been a free agent player and I don't have a job. Twitch has been my only job for the majority of me playing Valorant, but I do coaching on the side, uh, you know, things like that. I, I try to, um, you know, offer things like, you know, my content and stuff like that and entertainment to see if I can, you know, get some help from, you know, the community or people who enjoy that stuff. You know, that's the type of stuff that you want to do on the side. You can't be an account booster. You know, you can't be an account seller. You can't be a crypto better. It's not, it's not a real thing that happens. And, you know, outside of Valorant, you, you know, there's plenty of things you can do. You can, you, you know, you can resell things. You can do, you know, little services and stuff like that. You know, I, I'm not going to go on and on about how you can make money. You have a general understanding of that. And, you know, that brings me to this topic, which, you know, really, you know, upsets me is, you know, player, Reno. You know, he was probably a victim of this. He, he was in a position where maybe he didn't have a lot of money. You know, you got to make ends meet. He's trying to recruit someone here to use a website called tapin.gg. Um, basically, what they do is they duo queue smurfing to create a boosting service. $7 a game often with bonuses. CEO is ProGuide's co-founder. Hmm, wow, ProGuide's Pro co-founder. So the ProGuide's co-founder, the guy who has a website uh, with the intention of helping players become better is wrapped up in account sharing and boosting. Wow, that's that doesn't sound right. Um, uh, he's not here to get him in trouble. There's a lot of angles I can take here. Some the company like and others not so much. Riot is an investor. If they did care, they'd actually perma actual boosters. Real non-cheating rampant boosters get warnings, but they never get banned. It would be banning paying customers. Booster and Boostee are statistically more likely to participate in buying Riot product, including RP slash VP. We will give you your own budget to get Smurfs to eliminate account hopping as much as possible, so even if this was misinterpreted slash flagged in the system, it's minimized. <coughs> Nobody's logging on your shit but you. And the big one is that they did it for some reason to crack down and lash out warnings. It hit even on Leech Farm, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So at the end, A77 says that he'll, he's pass, he'll pass. It's way too sketchy. And again, I'm not trying to depict uh, Reno as a bad person here. This is just another person who's been taken advantage of by the situation that they're on. He's probably someone who maybe he didn't have a job or he was in high school or college and he needed some money on the side to, you know, eat, to keep going. Again, this isn't the way to go about it. There's plenty of sketchy shit that goes on behind the scene. You cannot fall victim to this shit. You can't. You can't. Okay. <clears throat> and, you know, again, these 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 people that are um, I I involved in this stuff, th these people that are involved in this stuff that are, you know, showing me, you know, screenshots and shit like that. These guys think that they're safe in their little Discord servers, that, that no one would, you know, leak anything or anything like that. Your, your little friends, your little group, uh, shit isn't that sweet. Shit is not that sweet. This is Trap House V2, the private version of the server that I'm in. This is missing, saying that he is going to protect the people in the server. Everybody in the server is going to be safe. These are the people that he's going to throw under the bus. And kind of give to me. And he's thinking that I'm just going to fuck off with it. You know, th these are the people that he's willing to throw under the bus. So, the people that he's trying to protect. <clears throat> Rice, RYS, Sosa, Caden, Ascends. 
Uh, those are some of the people that he's trying to protect, you know, by kind of giving these, giving me these people that are exposed a little bit, right? Um, you know, they're already catching some flack. People like Voriak, people like Bear, you know, they're already kind of getting flamed on Twitter. I'm just going to give T-Dog a little more information on them and maybe he'll just fuck off. No, like he, Missing is an account seller. He's, he's a part of this just as much as all these guys are, just as much as those guys are that I just said. And again, like... This is the most basic operation of all time. You guys are a bunch of fucking high schoolers. You know, maybe maybe you graduated. Who, who? So what? You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. So just fucking quit while you're ahead. This is just stupid. This is just stupid. You, you don't have this tight group of fucking ride or dies, man. People are airing this shit out like it's fucking a newspaper. And same goes <clears throat> with, uh, you know, this is another example of someone, you know, pressuring a player to throw a game. Uh, again, a, another random person like Jerwin, he the the people see that he is in a game with a famous person. Twitter.com slash name. Hey, throw this game. I'll give you some money. Throw it. Throw it. Come on, give me. Give, I'll give you some money. Like this is the type of stuff you got to resist. You got to be better than this. And again, like you know, <clears throat> RRV. You know, your 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 ranked players that never do anything wrong. We're just a content group. No, you're not. You're not. Again, like you, you think you you think you're safe. <laughs> You think no one sees what goes on in these group chats. You know, I have WestJet in my stream and my comments and my replies trying to farm impressions off of me and stuff like that because he thinks it's funny. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's just trying to play both sides of the fence again. Like, you think shit's sweet. It's not. You're not secure. You don't have these little private areas where you can just exist and, you know, get away with shit. That's not how it works. Um <clears throat> So, you know, to recap what we've been talking about, again, in that video, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't accurate. And it is absolutely my fault for, you know, not doing anything about that. I jumped the gun. I tried to rush something. I tried to get something out because I thought I needed to based on the opportunity that I was given. Um, this goal that I have had of making, you know, ranked better and making the game of Valorant better, it's not going to change. That's something that you can, again, you know, trust in me. I'm always going to keep it real um, whenever it's like that. And, you know, what pains me... <clears throat> is people mutuals uh some some people that I even call friends going on twitter you know yesterday and today saying that i'm doing this for views and i'm just i'm just farming impressions and stuff like that if i was farming impressions do you think that i would have streamed for 995 days in a row if i was farming impressions if i was farming impressions do you think that i would have never made a cent off of youtube off of TikTok, anything like that. Do you think if I was farming impressions during those 995 days that I was streaming in a row when I averaged less than 100 viewers every single month? I've never averaged over 100 viewers. Do you think I was farming impressions then? That I'm just some con artist, piece of shit, you know, content jockey. I just post shit to get interactions. It's not who I am. It's not who I ever was. It's not who I'll ever be. And again, I can assure you that you know, I know that I've told you today to not trust what you, you know, hear and see on the internet, but, you know, person to person, you know, I hope that you can, you know, believe or at least, you know, kind of look at, to, look at some insight with evidence from people that know me and anything that I've been a part of, you know, I, I, I put effort and, you know, time investment into stuff that I believe in. And this is an example of that. Um, <clears throat> I want rank to be a better place. I want Valorant to be a better place. I want people to be held accountable that are, you know, doing all this bullshit. And I'm going to be a little bit of a loose cannon on that. I'll be honest. That's just the type of personality I have. You don't see pro players doing shit like this. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Okay. And you probably never will. I hope that you do, but you probably never will if I'm being serious. You know, I also have, you know, friends, family, you know, girlfriend, hobbies, shit like that. You know, I have a bunch of stuff that matters to me as well. I'm not sitting up late at night twirling my fucking hair, biting my nails, hoping my video gets views. You know what I mean? I'm going to create content that I think is original and more importantly, content that, you know, I like to make and I hope that people can enjoy it and learn from it. Uh, if I was doing this shit for impressions and, and views, do you think that I would, would answer every single DM that I've ever been, that's ever been sent to me? Twitter, Discord, any, any social media, you think I would have done that? I'm for the people because I was once there. And I've seen so many people get a head full of fucking air and everything go wrong. Pro players, content creators, all different types of games, all different types of people. <clears throat> I've seen those people make the mistakes. I've seen those people go back on their word. 
And I will make sure that I will never be a person who does that. Everybody has made mistakes. Everybody has said shit they shouldn't have. Everybody has done shit they shouldn't have. Um, you know, I, I'm included in that, absolutely. And again, it's not personal towards these guys. I know that they have to make ends meet and they're just trying to make money, but this isn't just this isn't the way to go about it. And I'm going to fight that because it's directly against what I stand for. I'm not just going to sit there and take it and hide my screen when I queue. Again, that's just I'm not going to just roll over and just fucking deal with it. I always have to take the fucking high road when it comes to this shit. You know, that's that's how it works being, you know, a pro player or a big, you know, personality or, uh, you know, someone with a big following. You should have to take the high road and fucking deal with it. No, fuck no. <laughs> We're not just going to sit here and deal with this shit. That's why we got to use our platforms to, you know, educate the masses and help people understand what the fuck is going on. Because that's what it is, right? <clears throat> so, again, I do seriously apologize to all the people that were in the video that either weren't explained enough or maybe even misinformation was presented. I'm actively working on Twitter, YouTube, anything else that it's on to clear that and make sure that that fact is presented. Um, <clears throat> you can believe me on that. If you have someone who doesn't believe it, uh, obviously send me a DM. I'm willing to talk about it as well. If you, if you need to talk about it, I'm here. Um, we'll break it down and we'll make sure that shit is right because you know it's not fair to anybody. My goal, again, with this was to air this shit out so that people would know what the fuck is going on. And people can take action. Lucky for these guys, riots on a little Christmas break right now. They're going to get back into office. They're going to kick shit into high gear. And we might see some action being taken soon. But <clears throat> other than that, that's all I really have for you. Uh, if there's any updates to follow, I'll probably post about it like in Discord or Twitter or something like that. So make sure you're with me on that. Everything is linked down below. Uh, I do appreciate you for watching. You know, if you got here, you're a real one. You're an OG. I appreciate you listening to me. I appreciate you supporting me. You know, <clears throat> the whole nine yards. You've heard it all before. I'm always going to keep it real. You can trust in that. Um, I've never switched up for shit. Not going to be for money. Not going to be for people. Not going to be for clout. That's for fucking sure. And I do hope that you believe that. Have a good night, morning, whatever. Drink a Dr. Pepper for me. T-Dog out. Deuces.